Hey guys, I'm staying homesick today, so I'm going to go over what you're going to do today. If you look on the agenda in Canvas, you'll see what I want you to do. I want you to review the lab and the drawing, which I'm showing you in this video. Then you're going to look at the rubric or checklist, make any updates and revisions, and resubmit. Then you're going to look at the knowledge guide, and you're going to get those back. I provided feedback for first and third period. Most of fourth period, I'm missing, I think I had like five left to do before I left and then um, fifth period I didn't get to. The main problem is that people didn't follow the prompts and answer the prompts in their knowledge guide um, on the summary tables. So make sure you do that. I will collect the ones that I haven't looked at yet when I return. And then you're gonna complete the knowledge guide for the summary table section for the carbon dioxide meter lab and the photosynthesis and respiration drawing. Now first let's look at your drawings. So for the drawings you had the checklist and these are all the things that need to be included in your drawing and you need to have pictures and a written description on how photosynthesis and cellular respiration are related. So <coughs> in Canvas it says a link to whiteboard notes right here as a link. If I click on that, <coughs> if I click on that I can open up this drawing which I wrote on the board for some of the class periods last week and this is a rough draft okay you can see that I have the chemical names and the word names for the different things so carbon dioxide oxygen sugar my photosynthesis is in red my cellular respiration is in blue I'm missing pictures I have an animal and a plant cell I have the Sun I have a water droplet I don't have any picture representing carbon dioxide oxygen sugar or whatever that is Okay, in the checklist it says I need heterotroph and autotroph. I haven't labeled which organism is a heterotroph and autotroph. You should be able to do that from the last unit. <coughs> On the checklist it also says that you need energy. There are actually three forms of energy in this. I only have two forms of energy on my diagram right now. I'm missing one, which might be this one down here. So make sure you look up the equation for cellular respiration and you name that form of energy. Then what I'm also missing is a written description of how photosynthesis and cellular respiration are related. Those need to be on your drawing. Now when you turn in your work, you need to make sure that you read the directions of how to submit. You're doing it a little differently than we've done, oops, than we've done before. So read these steps one through eight right here. It tells you how to submit. You're submitting as a link. Excuse me. I will take off points if you turn it in incorrectly. Follow the directions. Okay, so next what you need to do is work on the lab report. Now for the lab report, check your lab with the rubric. So in your lab report, you need to have a citation, three to four sentences in your background. Make sure when you look at your background, then it's three to four sentences. It tells you right here what should be included. It tells you how to cite your research. It gives you a tool that you can use to get your citation and just paste it in the box. <coughs> Make sure you have your purpose, etc. If you look in the instructions in Canvas on the agenda page from last week on the block days, you will see that it told you that you can just choose one of the subjects from the test. You don't need to write about the one you did that your team looked at. You can choose any of them. That's what you're going to write your claim, evidence, and reasoning um, about. Everyone needs to make their own copy of the lab report and have their own CER. If your CER is the same as your partner's CER, you guys get zeros for not fo following the academic integrity policy. This is an individual work, not done with your team, not done with your partner. So the CER must be done by you and you alone. So when you're choosing this, <coughs> you have access to all of the class data. So if you did cut plant, but you decide you want to look at the chickpeas, you can do that for this. Now, when you are writing out your claim, evidence, and reasoning, okay, that what you're basically answering is what happened from day one to day two. 
So when I put a potted plant in an enclosed environment, on day one, it was in the classroom with no sunlight. On day two, it was in the classroom, or it was outside in sun. The amount of carbon dioxide released or taken in was increased or decreased, whatever happened. You're explaining this in one sentence. Then for your evidence, that's where you're giving the actual numbers. What happened on day one? What happened on day two? What were the numbers? That is just one sentence, maybe two. For your reasoning, you need to explain, did, was photosynthesis taking place on day one or day two or both? Was respiration taking place either day? And what caused that change in the numbers? What was added? What was subtracted? What made that difference in the amount of carbon dioxide? So that's going to be in your reasoning. So make sure you go through the rubric and you've met all of the requirements of the rubric. Make any changes that you need to and turn in your assignment. Then, <coughs> excuse me, then what you're going to do is if you click on the link for today for the knowledge guide, you will find. Um, if you scroll down, you will see that you're going to do a new row, and you only need one row, and it's going to be for both the lab and the Google Drawing. You're going to copy the names down, you're going to copy the driving question, and you need to explain this information. Here you're telling me what you learned, not what you did. Don't tell me that you did a lab where you tested a plant and you looked at the carbon dioxide and then you drew a picture showing carbon dioxide or th showing photosynthesis and respiration, how they work together. And that's telling me what you did. I want to know what you learned. So make sure you are answering these questions, telling me facts and information about what you learned. That was the part where people got feedback that they did things wrong is because you didn't cover all of the different things that I told you to cover in these boxes. So make any changes that you need to on previous ones, and then you're completing this row here.